Welcome back and if you just tuned in, this is Y254 News Highlights here tonight. We are talking about building healthy boundaries in our relationships. And you, as you can see behind me, it's all about love and how can you keep this love and the boundaries that we should have. Before we move to the conversation, there's something here I want to read to my panelists here. There are a lot of misconceptions about what boundaries are and do for relationships. We may feel that boundaries are unnecessary because our partner is supposed to already know and act on our needs and wants or that they ruin the relationship or interfere with the spies. In reality, health relationships have boundaries. A relationship can't be healthy until both partners communicate their boundaries clearly and the other person respect them. Healthy boundaries in a relationship don't come naturally nor do they come easily. So maybe to begin with, what is these boundaries we are talking about? Is it a wall of build? Are they rules? Are they instructions? What are these? I agree with you, Sarah. I agree with you, with your read over there. Then we do not take for granted that the other person will know what we want. We need to voice it. And healthy boundaries asks for us to speak of what don't, doesn't make us comfortable. I say, maybe I don't like people sharing my clothes, I don't like sharing my shoes, I don't like sharing my tower. If, if it's an intimate partner, doesn't get your tower, we do not share towers. True. It starts with something simple like that to boundaries of, and, and need you to respect me. And respect me calls for you not to ever raise a hand on me. It True. calls for you not to insult me such things there are a lot to do with boundaries it's what you're comfortable with in voicing it to your partner or to the people that you're relating with true true yeah. you just talked about uh, sharing and uh, i'm seeing this kind of a boundary where it's kind of a rule maybe you've hosted someone in your house and you're like uh, my friend uh, you have everything else to use in this house but kindly uh, this particular thing don't touch yeah. and then you will find at some point Waliguzatu and you get mad let me come to him <laughs> now uh, with this kind of a scenario mm. should you be mad because maybe your partner or your friend or your colleague uh, infringed or broke the rule how do you go about that? I, I think it depends with the boundary itself. If it's something like she broke or your friend broke something in the house, that's something you can forgive, but you give a warning. But if something like your your boyfriend or your girlfriend has cheated on you, now that's a different level of a boundary. And if you cross that, now maybe the repercussions will be kind of like different than the, the house one. True. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be coming to that of relationship. <laughs> now, uh, I'm imagining another scenario here. Mostly, it happens with family members. Mm. Yeah. You are in the same house, you use a different perfume, I use a different one. And then it happens, uh, I know I shouldn't use your perfume, <laughs> but here, mine in Malaysia. I don't have an alternative, and maybe I have a date. I want to go smelling audio, I'll have to maybe use your perfume. And you're not there, I end up using your perfume. Did I do wrong? I, I'm, I'm not there. Do, are there any ways of communication? I mean, it's Before a one time text. thing. Actually, at a sija to me, a mob. I just apply. Uh, Kadogo. That's, that's how boundaries get broken. Yes. You you just don't go stepping in. If the line is you just don't go stepping in. People try you out. Una songe shakamu kidogo. Like, um, she's okay with that. So I can zoya her some more. Next, the whole body is there. From a little toe going through the line to the whole of you. Yeah. So even if you do that, when you come back, we'll have a conversation. Yeah. Like even when I'm not around, will you die without it? Yes. No. So go ahead and don't use it without my permission. You and you let us sibling rivalry. Right. Yeah. We really live. <laughs> yeah. Actually, we've seen that. Now I want to get this point from you, Emmanuel. Mm -hmm. I just use your perfume because you're not around <laughs> and I needed that. Now, yeah. at what point can we say, I, I can compromise, I, I should compromise mm. the boundaries? I think it all depends with the individual himself. How strict is he with the boundaries? Mm. 
Uh, maybe I have a brother who is not so strict with, with his stuff. Mm -hmm. Maybe I can use them. But if you have a brother or a, or a sister who is very strict on his boundaries, this is my perfume, don't touch it. You need to respect that. And the first thing you need to do actually is to voice your, your boundaries. You haven't told me that I shouldn't use your mm -hmm. perfume. Mm -hmm. So if I use it, you, do, you don't need to, uh, you don't have the right to, to, to bark at me or to shout at me. Yeah. So you need to voice your, your boundary, set, set them straight, mm -hmm. tell him you don't use any of my things. And if you haven't told him or told her, maybe that's where the problem comes in. Yes. Yeah. All right. I'll be giving us several uh, scenarios here uh, before we get to how do I get to set the boundaries. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm assuming another scenario. I know your phone is not my phone, neither is my phone your phone. Huh. Right. Uh, assuming you're my brother or you're my sister, I shouldn't get receive your calls. But here is someone, uh, let's say it's mom calling and it's your number he's calling. I'm around or maybe I'm just your friend and your mom has been calling and calling and calling like say 13 times and I'm like he's the mother to this friend and it seems there's an emergency yes I know I shouldn't receive your calls is it okay for me to receive now the point of compromising is it okay for me to pick the phone and say so and so is not around please or maybe leave a message will I have compromised or will I have broken your boundaries our boundaries rather Personally, I wouldn't mind. Even if I have to be 13 times or so, as, as long as I'm not, I'm far from my phone. And you presume this is, if you're my friend, you know those people that are important to me. You presume this call seems to be important. Mm -hmm. It's okay, receive the call. But please, it's Apple. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like after you're done with the call, you're going through my texts, you're going through WhatsApp, so I you call, and I'm like, oh, your mom called. Like, heck, then what are you doing with my phone after right. that? Right, yes. As in, if it's a call you're, you're receiving on my behalf, it's okay, do it. But please, let it end there. Mm. All right. How would you deal with the same scenario, Manu? Um, the phone boundary is a little bit tricky, doggo. <laughs> <laughs> True. But if it's my mom or my dad, I think any of my friends can pick it up. But it's if it's anyone else, I think don't just take yeah. it. Don't take it. But yeah, if it's my, like any of my, if it's my mom or dad yeah. or even my <laughs> any of my siblings, I think they have the right. They can take it, and yeah. I won't uh, cause any any issues with that. I won't have any issues with that. Your, your baby has called five times, you're not around. My girl. And, uh, and, you, and, you, and, your, and your friend is around. Yeah. Should they pick? If it's, I think the last person who can take it is either my dad, my mom, <laughs> or my siblings. Yes. Anyone else, don't pick up the phone. Yeah, you'll explain later. <laughs> Yeah. Why you missed the calls? Mm. It seems to you. No, 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 no. My parents don't pick my call. Uh -uh. Mm -hmm. if, it's, if it's my hubby calling, I'm saying, okay, what are you doing <laughs> Because uh -huh. it's how they receive uh, these calls. Yeah. And the moment you're my, even if you're my best friend, and Chile you taken my call. I suppose it was an emergency. Like, hey, I think me. even if it's an emergency, just don't pick someone else's phone and uh, mm -hmm. and the call. Just right. don't take it. Unless it's your dad or mom who's calling, that's when they can take it. But if it's anyone else, don't take it. Right. Yeah. Oh, now, let's come to this building these healthy boundaries in our relationships mm -hmm. how do i set these boundaries let me hear from you first sir you know as, as you said it's it's intentional setting these boundaries True. and they start from zero to z mm -hmm. as in everything needs to have <laughs> and then let's not assume uh -huh. that the other person knows no, your sir. boundaries voice them me, I'm like, when I introduce myself, I'll say, Hi, I'm Sarah Paul. I'm ABCD, 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 and I'm a Christian. Already, some one, two, three things have, I have set boundaries. Mm, you can't say in front of there's people. There's some things you cannot yeah. say to me. There's some things you cannot include me into. Mm. Simply because I've said what? I'm a Christian. And then we create a relationship. After that, now I voice other boundaries that you might yes. as well mm -hmm. come across like yeah. you do not play with my phone you do not play with my husband mm -hmm. as in the security <laughs> <laughs> well that's not where I change or as in the things that are set straight true so it should be healthy boundaries are set at the beginning of the relationship see a team as well and I'm saying they can do anything with you mm. and with you I love who in between three years of the relationship I was fine in the 
Okay, mm. we've been doing this for a while. For a while. Mm. So what up? What what has happened? True. They won't take you seriously. True. And boundaries equal to respect. Mm. To me. Boundaries equal to respect. True. Without boundaries, there are no respect. I'll be blunt and say, when you're dating and you haven't said no sex. <laughs> Mm-hmm. No sex, no sex. <laughs> Complete. If you haven't said it, mm-hmm. someone will go. I'll ask you. Yes. If 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 you're dating and you say the much I can go while you're dating is maybe a peck mm-hmm. or maybe a hug, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. no more than that. But you haven't voiced it. But everything begins with an introduction. Mm-hmm. Yes. You have said it, but later we will break or we will compromise these boundaries. Uh, uh, that's the point. Uh-huh. How strict are you on your boundaries? Yes. If, I, if, if, if I've said these are my boundaries, definitely it's human for me to chokoza you mm. and see how I can pass your boundaries. Mm. Mm-hmm. But if I'm strict on my boundaries and like this, this is the end, and any time you pass, I'm like, uh uh-uh, bado, up and your mission. Mm-hmm. You will do it several times and you're like, okay, she's not budging. This indeed, these are boundaries. Uh, hard not to crack. Mm. <laughs> and then the respect prevails, and that person will respect you for that. Mm. So well, her yes is a yes, her no is a no. And okay, let me just take that very scenario. Mm. In case of a guy, the lady has refused. Uh, you you've now gotten to a point of I have to respect that and live by that. Mm. And then this lady happens to take it for a weakness. How do I deal with that? Mm. I don't child. think <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think she'll take it for a weakness. Mm-hmm. I think if a, if a lady tells you that there's no, you can't have whatever be any any time. I think you have to respect that. And if, and if she's worth the, the your love, the worth the weight, I think you should wait. You should respect and wait for for and it. And I love you more if you respect that mm-hmm. boundary. True. That's that's a that's a definite. I love you more if I tell you no and you take my no. Mm. I won't take it for weakness. I'll be like, okay. So he listens to me and he takes mm. seriously what I say. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but by the way, uh, you can't set any boundaries if you don't know yourself, if you don't have your self worth, if you don't know, um, you don't know your self value. I think you can't self love. Yeah, and your self love, you can't set boundaries. You need to know yourself. Yes. And then the second thing, I think you need to voice your opinion, voice your boundaries, so that everyone knows that Nikikuzapa, Nikikuzaivi. I think I'll be crossing a boundary. Mm-hmm. So I think you need to know yourself, and you need to voice your boundaries to each and everyone you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Speaking of which, setting this boundaries voicing them out mm. here i am you're my close friend let's say it's an intimate friend mm. i want to say uh this is what i want mm. this is what i do not want ever mm. now how do i get to tell you and i don't want to hurt you i want to say it nicely mm. and easy in a way that i won't hurt you how do i do it i think there's no need of beating around the bush just say it straight up i don't like this 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 it may come out as rude but the other person with time is going to find out that you really respect yourself and with that he's going to respect you for just having boundaries yourself sure. so you just need to go straight up tell the person hey mazi spend the evening naivi and then the other person will get it mm-hmm. so there's no need for beating around the bush just go straight up and then tell the person Right. Yeah, yeah. I'll become to you later. Now, remember to keep on sending your SMS to us to our SMS line double two one six two, beginning with the word news two two one six two, is the SMS line to use. I want to now come to you, Sarah. Uh, we have set boundaries, and I'm imagining another scenario here. We have agreed. You cannot go to this place without me. Assuming. It's an event, it's a party. I've said, uh, please, don't you ever go alone if I'm not there. And then it happens, a close friend of yours, a good friend comes and tells you, kindly keep me company, take me to this place. It won't take long and you have gone. How am I supposed to deal with you? And there is brought it down, how am I supposed to deal with you? Sometimes you ought to be understanding. Mm-hmm. If it's a thing like a party, as in really, mm. be understanding. You, this guy has called this one person. Do you want to be the third person? Mm. In a, really, because in a party, do you want to be the third leg? The <laughs> third wheel? You really don't. No, no. So, 
But it is what what was one of the boundaries we had agreed. No, those are um, not boundaries. No, those those that's not ba- that's not a boundary. It's I think a that's, that's him infringing on your freedom. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that's a, a red flag to me. I think yeah. if you have a guy like that or you have a lady like that, it's, I think you should leave. Scary. Yes. Now that's what I want to get the difference between mm. uh, the freedom you should have or uh, the rules and the boundary. How do I differentiate these two? Boundaries are not upon or they are not about the other person mm-hmm. True. boundaries is about you so mm-hmm. i cannot come and say you shouldn't go somewhere without me no mm-hmm. you're you're getting into their space mm-hmm. boundaries are about you it's like when you have a party i would appreciate if i become your plus one mm-hmm. see how i brought it yeah. yeah i'm not putting it as a must yes i'm just requesting you anytime you have a party, I would appreciate to be a plus one. Sure. But don't make drama about it. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. boundaries are just about you. Not, don't, don't infringe on someone else's freedom. And, yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, we don't have boundaries. Mm. We're just living or we are just existing. <laughs> what are some of the problems we will experience? Say from family members, mm. your friends, colleagues at work or in school. What are some of the problems you'll experience? I think any relationship without any healthy boundary is gonna be is going to be so messy. True. And noisy. <laughs> and noisy too, because I mean you're infringing on, on my boundaries you know, or something. Mm. So I think for any rela- relationship to flourish, you need to set boundaries for yourself. True. Yeah. Mm. Like there are heartbreaks. There, there. As in, you will be fighting. Yeah, uh, fighting too much. Because uh, it's not straight on where this relationship. How far we can go with whatever mm-hmm. relationship is. Can you jobo you would say that sexual offense because someone has, has spanked you, but you don't do <laughs> it wrong. Mm-hmm. You're free. Uh, you, anyone can do anything mm-hmm. to you. Yes. All of a sudden you're mad. Okay, you did no, so ah, mm. what you just <laughs> said, uh maybe he has spanked you in front of other guys. And maybe it was on corridor and you were just to the first day Ulinyamaza. No, that's where I'm talking about. Mm. Second day, don't know. I'm going to say, Ma. So you want it to be between us. Uh-huh. So you're not, you're not against it. Uh-huh. You're for it. You're for it. But in some circumstances. Yes. See, your uh, feelings are not clear. You are not clear. This I think when, when he does it for the first time and you don't voice it, it gives him morale like to exactly. do it again and again and again. And now so in public. In public even. So it's going to be very embarrassing mm-hmm. for you. So I think the first time he does it, just call him up. Just to- tell him don't do it again. And I think smiling, as in the- with a straight face, yes. don't yes. smile. Just yes. tell him don't do it again. I think you respect that. But if you don't say it for the first time, he'll keep on doing it again and again and again. Mm-hmm. All right. Now, uh, we come back now to flatting. <laughs> You said you're 50-50. Yeah, I know some actions are when you're close to people and they make you feel good and uh, you're happy in a way. Yeah. Uh, you wouldn't want them to, you wouldn't want to push them. Mm-hmm. But why is it 50-50 to you? Maybe I get to the bigger side, they feel it's wrong. Or maybe the other side, they feel it's cool. On the bigger side, it's wrong. Mm-hmm. The smaller side that's good, it's when the flirting is from a person you want attention from. Mm-hmm. Not from everyone. Like mm-hmm. when my happy flirts with me, I'm, I'm fine with it. Mm-hmm. But when a friend, a guy friend flirts with me, they're again boundaries. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> There's some things in cell let you get away with. Mm-hmm. But there will there will always be this one person in your social places you will find this one person. But not a friend. He has Maybe to get you a nerve. <laughs> Okay, because <laughs> someone will get into your nerve. True. But then that's not a friend. Yeah, yeah. Possibly is it's uh, an acquaintance. Mm. You cannot avoid this person. He's yes. in your social circles because of maybe job or something. Has and how how, how do you tame them? Or how do you get to control this thing? Avoidance. You do not stomach it from the word go. Mm-hmm. They flat and you're like, your, your face is flat. Like, but I it, don't feel ya. For a moment, they make you feel good. You no. know? The things they tell you, or maybe the things they do to you, and uh-huh. uh, maybe at that time you're in your lows, uh-huh. and uh, someone comes and makes you happy. Mm-hmm. The moment you tell yourself that, that they make you feel good, mm-hmm. everyone will try it, and everyone will get away with mm-hmm. it. And it will stop from flirting, 
to sexual harassment. Yeah. And and we won't hear you after that. We're like, okay, they flat with you, uh, the and you're okay with it. Okay. Why are you having a problem now? Mm. Again, boundaries. Set them early. Let everyone know no. how far it's far. Yeah. So that when worst comes to us, they know. By the way. Nah. You messed up with that cheek. Messed up. Let me hear what he <laughs> has to say about this. <laughs> I think flatting man that's that's a very tricky topic because um that's <laughs> doing but I think you shouldn't flat in the office uh, unless you're getting the same vibe from the other pa- the person but if for if you don't get the same vibe from the other person I think you don't you don't need to flat with him or her just don't do it unless you're getting the same same vibe from her or him then you can do it but you're not getting the same vibe from them don't do it Plus, I don't agree with flatting in the office. Just yeah. don't do it. Unless it's during lunch hours or... But in the office, no. No. Just respect the office and uh, do your work. So to some extent, you're both agreeing here. Uh, flatting is somehow good. Uh, it depends. Because you, 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 you've already you. put, you've no, already put an exception. You. you can only do it here, not there. That's why we say circumstantial. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And the feeling needs to be mutual. Yeah, it should be. That, it should that be mutual. Should be okay, mutual. you just said like uh, one thing leads to another. Mm-hmm. Okay, you could be feeling this guy and maybe he's feeling you and uh, jokes here and there. One, two, three, the next day something happens and then it becomes a habit and maybe you too had nothing it just happened and it began all with flirtation mm. you, you let it but there is nothing that gets us by surprise me i do these conversations of mm. it was an accident mm-hmm. at one thing led to another eh, eh, you saw it coming a mile away, a mile away. <laughs> <laughs> All right, no now <laughs> let's close this mm-hmm. uh, by saying the importance of building healthy boundaries. How significant, how good is it, why is it important in our relationships from family, friends at work, or in school, wherever our social places? One, it builds respect. Does that a default? Mm-hmm. Two, you're known and someone that is principled when you have boundaries. When where your yes is yes and your no is no, it matters a lot in this society. Either in uh, an intimate relationship, in the family relationship, even with colleagues. And when this happens, you, you lead a happy life. You don't get angry or heartbroken for lack like for better words, stupid reasons. Because mm-hmm. when you have these boundaries, people won't pass this these boundaries and when they try to pass you quite aware and you tell them off mm. you lead a happier life true true as we um i think if you really value yourself you need to have boundaries if you really know yourself worth you need to have boundaries mm-hmm. boundaries they might come off at, at first very mm-hmm. they'll be rude at first but with time guys will get to respect you mm-hmm. And think if people know that respect yourself, they respect you in turn. So boundaries are very, very important. If you really value your, yourself and if you really value your relationship, you need to have boundaries so that you can have a flourished relationship. Very well. Thank you so much for your insights. Back home, I want to believe you have learned something. If you want a healthy relationship, build those boundaries and make sure you voice them and voice them in a way that uh, the other party, they will understand you and they won't mistake it for being rude. Thank you so much for keeping it Y251 to my panelists, Sarah and Emmanuel. Thank you so much for coming. Uh, We always appreciate your company and your knowledge that you always impart in our audience out there i am the river hillary for me here it's a wrap have yourselves a good night